We're Billy and Leanne and we live full time in our van. Over the last six months we have been living and working in Cornwall. We are currently in Essex for the winter upgrading big bears ready to get back on the road. Join us this week for some well needed van improvements powered by Bluetti. Go through the drive through in this car. That luxury for us. Electric windows. So we've just got back from Wax, got the clad in. So my idea, I'm thinking of it, is just connect them all together, cut them to the right size to go all the way across. One Leanne's messy clothes. But yours as well. All the way across like that. So make one long panel and then put the hinges on so you've got a continuous looking panel then. And then after you can take it off, split it down the middle. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Cut it down the middle. So we'll have two doors uh, and that's it and then we're going to take this down so we're going to brace that across just panel it across there they're only going to be lightweight doors so yeah let's do it which face do you want what's the best face yours <laughs> on there like that brace them all in the right places so the braces can go with the brackets on and then just cut it down the middle and do it like that yay better isn't it <laughs> finally oh, it's gonna look so tidy obviously need sanding and painting and stuff so. <laughs> but now you can hide it away. They're not perfect, but they do the job as we always say. <laughs> but yeah, we've got to finish it. We've got to put, we're going to get the same strip of wood as this. Trim it along the bottom there. We're going to get some garland, I think, Leanne said, some plantage to cover this sort of awkward gap. It looks better than it did though. A lot better than it did. It looks a lot more finished. Paint, lovely job. Oh, I like these springs because they're the like, same as the other ones. You haven't got to put the gas struts on them. Yeah. They're just out by themselves. Mount hinges. Very good. So, that's us done for this afternoon. The next job is painting these, filling the holes, putting the strip on, painting inside the wardrobe, a cup of tea, and admire our doors. I'm well chuffed with them, mate. I don't have to look at, you know, messy... Cruddy clothes. Messy clothes just chucked in there now. I can chuck them in there and then close the door and forget about it. <laughs> it was the original colour we done our little van in. Yeah. Cotton and we just left the cladding, didn't we? Well, we've got clear varnish, clear didn't varnish, we? Yeah. Okay, see you probably in a couple of days. See you in a couple of days. Hello from the car again. We've got wood. We have wood. So, what we've done is I've gone to the local timber yard and I've bought two by one timber. So what we're going to do is we're going to do slats instead. Instead of ply coming over, because that just seems like lava, I'm just going to do a slatted bed that I can pull out, jump on it, no stress. So basically it's going to solve two problems. We could have someone stay if they really want to, and also it will make the seating area comfortable, because at the moment where I sit by the door is really uncomfortable, because it's really short and you're very upright. And then we can get a projector there and have a little cinema room. <laughs> it's, all, it's all these upgrades going on, honestly. It's, it's like a new upgrades, van. I know. So we're just going to go and get a coffee and then we're going to go and get started. Well, maybe, because well, the weather's crap. Peacing down a little bit. This will be the last bit of final building, I think. That's Other crazy. Than putting the extension onto the kitchen. That's a bit mad. But that's it, that'll be it. And then we're done with the inside. After a whole year. Brand new bears. <laughs> Bill's hanging up his clothes in his luxury wardrobe that I've yet to paint the inside. It's actually it's so much room. Amazing. Wait, let me get right in there with a the wide angle. Hold on. Wow. Look at all of that room. 
five t-shirts can be greased free. <laughs> but five t-shirts. So we just got the floor in, a lot more hard wearing than the last floor, but we're going to go back and lay the floor hopefully in the wearing socks. We'll catch up later. It's a nice colour, isn't it? That is really nice. It's a green. Oh, it's going to look nice, isn't it? That is going to look lovely. Look at that. Right, so we've got everything we need now to lay the floor, but we've been struggling a lot of our batteries over the last one couple of months when we was in Cornwall they've been dropping down to like stupid levels and basically they died so our batteries are now longer but luckily we have been sent a new power bank by Bluetti uh, we've been sent very kindly the BB70 this is perfect for us because this is a portable basically generator so we can take this anywhere and this has got a thousand watt inverter on it so that means that we don't have to put the inverter on here we just don't want what happened to our batteries in the future. We're going to be using this more than our main batteries, I think. Well, we have done since we've got it, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, since we've got it, we've charged everything. The charging ports are better on it for our phone. They charge it, they're 100 watt charging ports, so they charge super quick. So it's got two PD ports, it's got two USB ports, it's got two plug sockets, it's got a light, and we've also been sent the 200 watt solar panels, which you can plug in and charge that up, and it takes only about four hours when it's a good sunlight. This will actually save us, really, won't it? Yeah, 100%. Now we haven't got to install the inverter into the van. Um, it's lithium, which also means it's got two and a half thousand cycles. It's a new LifePo 4 battery. So far, I'd definitely recommend it. It's definitely saved our backs, isn't it? Today, we're going to be using the jigsaw. Or we're going to be using the Bluetti to power the jigsaw. So that means we haven't got any extension cords. We can just power it straight off that. So once you plug this in, you'll see the power surge of how many watts you're using. It's a pure sign inverter as well, which is what you want. It's a game changer for me because I can blow dry my hair and it won't be frizzy. We can have a neutral it so we can make healthy smoothies and most likely non-healthy <laughs> milkshakes. <laughs> this is just one of the one of the versions they do. They do a bigger power bank where I think there's a video that Mel's World's done, I've seen recently, where he has seen if he can power his whole van with one of these devices. I think these are perfect for van life because they're portable, you can take it anywhere. If you get a new van, you can take this with you and you can plug 240 sockets. We can't even do that in our van. So for us to be able to be on the road and plug in any device is a game changer. It saves our batteries as well. So we've got our batteries in the van, which we'll mainly use for the lights and the shower and the hot water and the heater. But you can get a low wage hair dryer, can't you, that we see? Hot brush, which is under, I think it was 950 watts, wasn't it? Yeah. So that's perfect for me. So today we're going to power the, the Wix jigsaw, <laughs> dinosaur jigsaw, this is old as this jigsaw. Plug it in, turn the switch on, and then that comes up with what power you've got. Make sure it's turned on. <laughs> what we're going to do is start from the back left hand of of the van and just work our way down this way. I'm no flooring expert, so I've got a few tips off people. So yeah, we're gonna give this a go and hopefully it comes out nice. This tune's gone.
for the next day and the floor is all done. Didn't film too much of the floor just because I'm not a flooring expert <laughs> and I don't want to be giving out bad advice. But it did work very well for us and it looks perfect and it's waterproof and it's still tight. I'll show you what I've done in a second. Do you know how clean it looks in here now, honestly? Like before we had like ridges between the panels and stuff, it's just flat and you can just sweep it out, it's perfect. It's like having an actual real, it's like having proper flooring in the van. So yeah, the flooring's all done. Um, we've also done a couple of other little bits like cladded around the seating area. Also did use the Bluetti to power the tools and that worked perfectly didn't it so good, so good. Really, really good so that was a bonus um that'd be good for when we're on the road using the tools we're so impressed with the blue 80 so far i'll show you what we've done to the floor so this is our new flooring it's all waterproof now and what i've done as well so i run a bit of silicon around the edge of the floor just so it seals it in so if anything does spill it's not going to go it's not even going to be able to get to the subfloor. And what I've also done is we have cladded around the seating area because the plier just wasn't, wasn't doing it for us. This definitely gives it a bit more character. Mm. Um, still got to finish that. We're going to put a drawer across there. So we're still debating whether to do the pull out bed, sofa, whatever it is, because oh, we change our minds like anything, really. We change our minds too much. We're going to extend the actual seat, the depth of the seat, because that was the main thing that was uncomfy. Too, too skinny. This bit here is too narrow to sit on and make it comfy because you've got quite a straight back on it. So the plan is to just extend extend this bit of ply out to about there and have it on hinges so we can still get underneath. So yeah, so what we've done, we've cladded it. Definitely prefer the cladding. And if we do want to add the pull-out system, we'll add that on it another day. We're back in Essex for a month and we're craving getting back on the road. So we're just going to get the van done and get back on the road as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this week's video. Give us a like if you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one.